And there is this brewing debate about how a Gagesberg economy, an economy like an economy like ours that relies on the export of raw materials and the import of finished goods uh, from other countries. There is a debate as to uh, why we continue to rely heavily on the dollar. Because we are an import-driven country, everything in Ghana is imported, but a few. Uh, all things in Ghana are imported except a few th other things. When you look around, right from the things you wear, the things you consume, we import everything from outside, putting a great deal of strain on the Ghana city. And the recent spate of the disparity in uh, exchange rates is a bit scary. There are businesses that imported raw materials, that imported some finished goods, they don't want to sell. They are hoarding those goods. They are keeping them. Because if they sell them at the rate the Ghana city is to the dollar now, they can't import any fresh stock from outside the country. Uh, so we need to do something as a country. I'm a consumer. You are a consumer. I'm a consent citizen of this country. Um, the dollar rate um, is creating a lot of apprehension in business cycles or business circles. And the earlier we did something about it, the better. Don't politicize the issue. Yes, I remember when the former um, vice president, no, vice presidential candidate, who is now a vice president, was given a series of uh, economic lectures across the country. I think he politicized the dollar, the exchange, the foreign exchange rate issue. Uh, so it's not surprising that the chicks or chickens have come back home to roost. And those who were in government at that time and were feeling the heat of his criticism of the rate at which the city, the Ghana city, was losing its value to the dollar. And they are not far from wrong if they hold uh, His Excellency and his government accountable for the spiraling, uncontrollable rate at which the dollar is galloping away from the Ghana city. But there seems to be some solace in what has been told us by the Bank of Ghana. And again, I go back to my good friends, Ghana Web. They did a story a little shy of a week, no, a little over a week ago. They said Bank of Ghana to inject $800 million into reserve efforts to stabilize the city. Yes, was it over the weekend? Yeah, we, a friend of mine, um, he, he had to give money to somebody who was traveling outside the country, and we went to, to change some money, and since we were buying the USD, I think every dollar went for like five Ghana fifty pesos or so, and others were even charging five Ghana. 60 pesos or so so people are concerned and legitimately so because we have an import driven economy if people import at such a rate and they can't import new or fresh stock uh, of course it means that businesses are suffering uh, so bank of ghana says it is to inject uh, 800 million us dollars into reserve efforts to stabilize the city. Um, the head of financial markets at the central bank uh, told Graphic that the accumulation of more dollars would help increase the net international reserve to around 4 billion US dollars, enough to provide confidence in the system and help stabilize the free fall of the local currency. So we need a miracle and we need it now. Uh, because business women who would on a normal day travel to Dubai or China to bring goods uh, may be facing challenges because of the high exchange rate.
and men that are working at Abu Sokai, people in the spare parts business, people in small and medium enterprises that in one way or another use the US dollar as an international currency would have challenges as well. Uh, so let the politicians do their politics, but fundamentally as consumers or consent citizens of this great republic, uh, we should all be concerned about the way the US dollar exchange rate is skyrocketing against the Ghana city. But this goes back to the age-old argument that why operate a Gagisberg economy, an economy that can contribute very little to the international market only in the form of raw materials. These raw materials are processed into finished goods and they are brought back and sold to us at higher rates putting on due pressure on the local currency. And many of the big businesses we have are foreign companies. So some have even explained that during the last quarter of the year, around Christmas, many of these foreign you know, multinational companies repatriate the proceeds they would have made. And therefore, during the first quarter of the year, it is natural that the city would suffer heavily against the US dollar. Uh, so we should have a short term, a medium term, and a long term fiscal strategy uh, to cushion the Ghana city so that end users like me and other concerned citizens uh, do not face the pinch of an alien economy. So we urge the economic management team, uh, we urge the powers that be uh, people that determine what financial policies we adopt as a country uh, to do all they can to stabilize the exchange rate uh, so that uh, businesses don't suffer and end users like me and you do not suffer there is a message from somebody he says his name is shani motala on the politicization of the dollar debate and I gave a preamble saying that, yes, before this government came into power, it politicized the dollar issue. So it wouldn't be out of place for other political parties to hold it accountable if it's not able to stabilize the Ghana city against the dollar. Um, a viewer by the name Shani Motala says, yes, we will not politicize it. Oh, that's a good point. Who are we if the economics... Economics... The video is managing it. This has come to convince me indeed. Book or mouth, mouth, mouth doesn't run the economy. Kindly tell Baumia to eat humble pie and involve technocrats to help him. Period. Okay, that's a valid point, Shani, especially the last bit of your argument. Uh, as to the issue of math, math or theory or book knowledge, uh, I think that is up to politicians to determine. But fundamentally, there is consensus that we need to do something to stabilize the city against the dollar so businesses don't suffer and end consumers like you and me do not suffer. And in the long term, we can look at the possibility of reducing how heavily and uh, this economy relies on imports and then we see how we can refine our own raw materials into finished goods to be able to attract some foreign um, revenue thank you so much for your time and i hope um, to see you soon bye bye